What is a Commodore 64? I'd like to talk about using the computer, the first steps, but first of all, I'd like to show you what's inside your Commodore 64. You'll never need to go in there. You don't need to give it a loop job every thousand miles or anything like that, but you may be curious, and just so you don't have to look in there, I'll show you what's in there in advance. Let me open it up. I've loosened up the screws already, and here goes the keyboard. We'll disconnect the keyboard connection here. <clears throat> That's a tough one. And here comes the pilot light. And now we can see this is the entire computer on one board. Let me show you the parts. Here we have the 6510 microprocessor. That's the part that adds and subtracts and makes decisions. It's the control center of the computer. It's the heart of everything. Over here, these chips are called ROM chips. That's where fixed memory is kept, the memory that gives a computer the style that makes it behave in the way that it does. The big chips over here are input-output chips, are often called interface adapted chips, and they're not terribly important to us, except you have to have input and output or you'll never be able to send your results anywhere. Along the bottom here, these little chips along here are your memory. Remember, we have 64K of RAM and a Commodore 64. And as we come once again back in the loop, we have two chips here which are interesting. This one is called a PLA, and without getting too technical about it, it's the traffic director for the entire computer. It hooks up the right pieces of memory to the right things at the right time. Coming over here, this is the sound interface device chip. This is the one that makes the music. And finally, inside this can we have circuitry. I'd like to open this one up. Once again, you should never do this. Ah especially if you have a plan to play the concert piano. Okay, but inside what we'll see here is, with a little bit of heat seal gunk on it, is a video chip that actually makes a signal that goes to your television set or your monitor. If it goes to the television set, it goes through what's called a modulator in here. But that's really about it. The other little chips in there are just used to connect the pieces together logically. In fact, technicians often call these little chips glue because they stick the rest of the computer together. But that's all there is. There isn't very much. We'll put this one back together and then we'll go and talk about the keyboard.